Okay, birthday people. Happy birthday, you Greg. A Gemini's. All right, Gemini's. It's a Gemini's. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gemini's. Let's see what is coming up for you. Birthday babies. Um, your birthdays is going to be beginning from um the 24th on till uh the 30th of uh, uh April. Go check out um Gemini, go check out the um the Gemini season reading. Okay, there are also messages for you. All right, Gemini's, let's see what's coming up in your birthday. What is coming up for the people who are born on the 24th? Um, we have the energy of the Empress. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with mother issues, okay? And we have uh, um, the energy of the Ten of uh, uh, Pentacles. And we have the energy of the Three of Wands. All right, so when we look at this energy, okay, and it's up there, so we're going to be putting it down. We have the Empress, which is a mother figure, and we have a situation with a whole lot of money that this person was supposed to receive. You know, I turned this thing up, and uh, it's as if uh, whoever this person is and whatever that was going on, I see that this this empress is like a mother figure, but it's uh, it could be coming up as your spirit guides also um, that help you um, to facilitate wealth and stability. OK, and this is going to be good for you, um, Gemini's. And they're recognizing that a huge TEF was created, that a huge, a huge TEF of a whole lot of money was created, was uh, was um, stolen. So it could be from your mom or it could be your own money, Gemini, or money that was uh, that your mom had left you. A whole lot of money was stolen. And the Aries the or Sagittarian person was a person who has um, took this money and they're going to be recognizing what this person have done. So, um, you know, get get ready, ladies and gentlemen, because um, I, I see the shift of the energies on this planet and it's about a lot of lies and deceptiveness and theft. Tef that is created, and they're going to be recognizing that an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person have stole a lot of money for you. Gemini's is as if your parents had died and left it, your mother had died and left you a whole lot of money, and a Tef was created. Some of you women are going to be receiving some money. They recognize that a huge amount of money was stolen. And they're now recognizing who have done this and uh, what this person have done and how this person have created this huge theft. And it was a whole lot of money that was supposed to come to you guys. And it's going to be coming out. Um, then let's look at the people who were born on the 25th. You are going to be having a new start. This is a wonderful, wonderful energy. A new start is coming up for a lot of you ladies, a lot of you creative people. A new start is going to be here for you people. Um, I see family issues that was a ray for people who were born on the 25th of uh, um, uh, um, May. Um, you guys are going to be resolving some sort of a family issues. They're going to be recognizing that a young Taurus Virgo or Capcom person, whoever this person is, you're going to be overcoming this person and their family and their criminal attempt to, um, to take a lot of money from you. So, all the ladies, I see ladies 50 years and older, you are going to be resolving a, fa um, a family issue because they're going to be recognizing that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have created a way in order to steal a lot of money um, from you guys. And you older ladies, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, I see some sort of a new story is going to be coming in. For you and your family because they recognize whoever this Aries or Sagittarian person is or whoever this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is. It could have been your child. Whoever this person is has created a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems. So they now recognize that a huge theft has been created against 
um um you 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 guys that is born on the 25th and especially women 50 years and older and i see you're going to be trying to resolve this situation and it's going to be very very positive what we're recognizing is that and some of you a whole lot of money is going to be coming back to a whole lot of you especially people who were born on 25th and the, the 24th okay let's look at the people who were born on the 26th and I got to go back to the situation because people were born on the 24th. You have 3, 10, and 3. So a lot is as if some sort of a new start is going to be coming back for the people who were born on the 24th. Some sort of a major, major new start and a positive alignment of energy. Then um, for the people who were born on the 25th, I see the energy of the fool, um, which is a new start, Omega, and it's as if some sort of a new start with some sort of a family issues and problems that was going on. A lot of you are going to be overcoming a Taurus or a Capricorn person and their family and the theft that they have created. And a lot of people are going to be recognizing and seeing the truth. So people who were born on the 26th, you have the energy of a tower. A tower moment is coming down. And um, we are going to be um, looking at why and a tower moment is coming down um, where your relationship, your marriage um, could be ending. A, a relationship, a marriage could be ending. People are going to be um, having a marriage problem. And I see no love in this year. It's as if some of you, because of uh, the ending of relationships or marriage, I see you have no love in your heart and that's okay because you have to heal. You have to heal. It's a situation where a lot of you have to heal from whatever is happening and transpiring. So um, I see a family is going to be crumbling. Some sort of a problem in a family. Okay. Um, it's as if a family wanted some sort of a new start, but this family is going to be crumbled because they recognize that there was some sort of an unfair play, unfair game. And I see a lot of you women are going to be regretting that your marriage um, is over, especially um, you women. Um, it's, it's going to be so, um, you know, you're really, really regretting um, melancholy, regretting um, that your marriage is over, especially people who are um, like 50 years and older. You're going to be regretting that your marriage is over. I see as if uh, whatever the problem is, it's as if no one is showing you Gemini no love. However, this is transpiring not if your kids. Um, and it's as if your kids are blaming you for um, the end of your, your marriage. And I see a whole lot of instability and problems is coming up. And a whole lot of you women this year is like, what a horrible year. I can't wait until it's over. But, you know, it's going to be over. It's going to be um, over. And you guys are going to be recognizing, hey, it is what it is, and I got to move on with my life. I see a lot of you are not open to love. Some sort of unexpected explosion, something unexpected with relationship, marriage. Um, it could be between you and a father figure and that sort of a thing, and it is going to be ending. And I see um, no love. It's as if you have no love to offer anyone because you are so burdened down. You're so beaten up about what love is all about. So, so you have the energy of the tower is 16 and that is 7. And I see another 6, the energy of the love. A lot of you, a tower moment come, coming down for Gemini and a Cancer. Whoever this Gemini and this Cancer is, if some of you Gemini was married to a Cancer, the relationship is going to be ended abruptly. Okay, so be aware um, so six and then one, the Ace of Cups. Uh, and this Ace of Cups is as if there's no repara rep reparation to this marriage. It is now over, okay? Um, so you have a fire energy this year, a really heavy fire energy and a whole lot of melancholy for you women because you women never wanted this to happen and never expect this to happen. All right, we're going to be moving forward and look at the people who were born on the 27. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is going to be a very fortunate year. Um, you are the center energy. So a lot of you fortune is going to be on your side because a lot of you are working with this energy. Um, um, and it is a central energy for the year for people who were born the 24th until the 30th of May. It is a central energy, so a lot of fortune. And there is this money is going to be coming back to a lot of you. I see a lot of you have been going through a whole lot of uh, 
chaos, conflicts, cutting away what no longer is needed. And uh, um, a whole lot of you, uh, you know, recognize that, that uh, um, it is time to resolve some sort of a mental anguish. This mental anguish is going to be over. A lot of you, if a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person, um, some sort of contract is going to be ending with this person. And it's, it's as if you're divorcing this person. This person, they're going to be finding out as uh, wants to take you down for a whole lot of money. And they caught this person on time. Some of you, a new child or a grandchild is going to be entering your life. Um, I, some of you are going to be fortunate who could not get pregnant. You're going to be very, very fortunate and you are going to be pregnant. I see happiness and joy, especially for young kids. It is going to be a year, a very, very lucky year for young kids. It's as if uh, the universe is going to be helping out a lot of young kids. And I'm talking kids between the ages of zero and, and 21 that a lot of young kids is going to be feeling the luck in the, this year. A lot of whole lot of positive um, energy is going to be coming up. Um, Wheel of Fortune says it's all is a good year. If some of you are ready to have kids, it's a good year. Um, go for it. Okay. Uh, if a lot of you wanted to make some sort of a change, shift, relocation, changing your habits, uh, your life assistant, yes, go for it. Uh, your bonus card is a, a men married men if you decide that you want a new start you want a new marriage um you want another kid yes it is a yes a lot of you married men um your fortune could be returning to you and this is men 40 years and older so businessmen is going to be a good year for you businessmen so you guys have the 10, which is new start. Um, Omega is talking to you. Your spirit guides are talking to you and helping you in this year. Your mental anguish is going to be over. And I see positive new start is coming in. 10, 5, and 1. 10, 5, and 1. A whole lot of messages is going to be coming in to you. You're going to be recognizing what was happening and transpiring. All right, let's look at the people that was born on um the um uh 24 25 26 27 28 and this is a wonderful year for also you guys you guys are going to be being about discipline and order in your life um where your life had spun out of control you're going to be bringing back some sort of order in your life and bringing back positive alignment of energy so <clears throat> the world is a positive energy the world is about some sort of a new start some sort of a new beginning that is going to be coming up and transpiring for a whole lot of you and this is going to be good because the world has two frequency to energy body mind and soul but also your materialistic and spiritual side is going to be balanced and you're going to be having help whatever the regrets is that you have emotional problems emotional situation this is going to be coming to an end so a lot of you had a lot of emotional worries and uh and this emotional situation that you are going through is going to be coming to an end a lot of you were in emotional anguish and this is going to be over so i see no regrets it's as if some of you have no regrets whatever has happened has transpired and you have no regrets you are just um rolling with the punch in this year then we see the energy of uh, the um the uh, two of cups and a lot of you um, there could have been really, really an end, an end that is going to be coming up. A lot of you who are in relationship with cancers expect in this year a lot of ending to your relationship, okay? Some of you were dealing with a scorpion. Um, this could be also an ending for the scorpion. You have no regrets because, you know, whoever the scorpion and the cancer is and was, whatever um, this cancer has done, a tower moment is coming down on this cancer. There, uh, there are information that is going to be coming out that some of you Gemini's is going to be saying I am not going to be staying in this relationship and be caught up in this relationship and I see a lot of you are going to be making a change and a difference and letting go of relationship and people that doesn't bring positivity in your world and this is a year where you're going to be ending ending a lot of friendships ending a lot of relationship understanding that you have been going through too much mental anguish, trying to figure out, uh, you know, 
are these people good for me or not? Or are these people on my side or not? And they're going to be recognizing what has transpired. Wow. So I see a lot of you are going to be finding out who is your enemy, especially businessmen. A lot of you businessmen are going to be recognizing who your enemy is. This world is going to be um, ending partnerships. A lot of you are going to be ending partnership. And it's going to be friendship, business, jobs, but you're ending um, partnership. Whatever partnership that you had and you were having some sort of an anguish over, you're ending it. And a lot of you businessmen are going to be recognizing that you had an enemy. And this enemy was creating problems, issue. Some of you could have been your ex. That was creating a whole lot of problems and issue in your world. So what we're recognizing now and we're seeing is that uh, the emotional anguish that some of you had with a relationship, you're letting it go. You're not going to be bothered with it anymore. So a cycle is over. So you have 21 and you have three, you have five and you have two. And a lot of you at the end of the day is going to be balancing out um, a situation with um, kids. A whole lot of you, whatever is transpiring, you're going to be healing whatever problems that you had with kids. So that is good. Let's see what's coming up for the people who were born on the 29th. The 29th is that it's a year where you're going to be finding out a whole lot of information. A whole lot of information is going to be coming to you. You're going to be now recognizing what has been happening and transpiring. You're going to be seeing the truth of the situation. It's as if things are going to be clearer to you. Things that wasn't clearer is going to be um, clearer to you. You're going to be finding out a lot of information. Um, about an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person and um, what this person have done and how this person have created a whole lot of problems for some of you. A whole lot of light is going to be shedding. Information is going to be coming out. And for some of you as an Aquarian Gemini or Libra, for some of you is just information coming out about the past. So news, um, a whole lot of news, a whole lot of information, um, data, information, Things are going to be going very, very fast in this year. If you have a study, it is going to be very, very fast. It's as if you're going to be understanding and, and finishing off this study very fast. A whole lot of information and data, documentation. Um, that is what some of you are going to be having to deal with in this year. So um, communication, some sort of a communication. And some of you are going to be ending some sort of a relationship with an accord. With 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 uh, someone that was um, creating a whole lot of issue, and this is a cancer, and some some of you are going to be trying to resolve some sort of a, a relationship situation with a cancer and take your child. You're going to be definitely taking your child from this person because you recognize that this person is not uh, qualified or um to be the you know to. Um, be the mother of your child. You're going to be recognizing how it is best and with some sort of information and documentation that people have about this cancer, you're going to be recognizing, no, it's better I keep my child away from this cancer because this cancer is really um, not normal. Even though it is uh, um, uh, um, their child, um, th th this cancer is mentally unstable to become a mother um, or so be mentally unstable uh, to be a mother and you're going to be taking this child away. Um, so I expect that um, for you guys that was born on um, the um, 29th, a whole lot of information and data is going to be coming out and I see light is going to be shedding and you're going to be deciding it's best I take my child and grow my child up or it's best that I don't... Uh, um, give this child, father or mother, no access because uh, um, this pe this person is instable. Okay, um, when it comes up to business, business is going to be good. A lot of you, um, they're going to be uh, um advising you something about your business, and it's basically going to be helping you um to withstand some sort of an unsavorable situation that was going on with your business, and is recognizing that a real um unstable man businessman was accessing your information and data and was falsifying your information and data and 
and this businessman is very crooked and people are going to be recognizing so a lot of you are going to be getting a lot of data and information over who this businessman is and what this businessman have done so a cycle is going to be over for some of you young um men between the age of 18 and 45 young men or women between the age of 18 and 85 because you're going to be finding out something in this year that is going to be shifting you in another direction and ending some sort of a relationship. Then we see people who were born on the 30th. You're dealing with a father figure or an older person in your life. And this is very, very good if you, you are a business person. Um, you have a fire energy and a fire energy could be that some of you are taking back and learning what it is to be the more, the, the authority figure over yourself and don't let people, um, manipulate you. Okay. Then we see, um, they are coming down on a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person. A lot of you who are married to this person, you're going to be recognizing that this person, whoever this person is, it can be your mother or it can be your wife. This person can be your mother, your wife, or someone in management, some at the workplace, but it's as if authoritarian figure. So it could be your father, if your father is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and your mother is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. Um, they're going to be now recognizing a whole lot of situation and recognizing that some of you, this is your parents or this is a family member or this is a, a someone you know from past life is as if you're going to be dealing with the scorpion woman so they're going to be recognizing what an aries dear or sagittarian man have done together with a scorpion woman so a lot of you have to deal with a whole lot of issues maybe is your parents Maybe your father, if your father is Aries, they are Sagittarian, or maybe if your mother is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, it is your parents. This is a Scorpion woman, and they're going to be recognizing what a Scorpion woman and an Aries, they are Sagittarian man have done and created a whole lot of problems and issues for a lot of you. I see sadness for these two people, and you could be sad, but these two people, it's coming up as these two people could be sad because people are now recognizing what these two people have done and if these two people have a business they're going to be ending their business they're going to be taking down their business ending their business canceling their business because they recognize that these business people have been using their business to do some sort of an illegal situation so a lot of you gemini maybe you work for this person um these people maybe you are aware of these people maybe you recognize who these people are in your life a whole lot of sadness and you know the gemini's you gemini's who are going to be sad is because you got caught up with these people and it could have uh, created a whole lot of issues and problems in your world so i see a whole lot of businessmen are going to be sad okay and you guys you are dealing with four and six four and six is ending ending four and six is ten that is about new start a cyclist over um a cycle is over for a Aries the Sagittarius man a cycle is over for a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion woman a cycle is just over for this couple whether this couple is what were, were they friends were they a couple a cycle is over for them because people now recognize in the undesirable deceptive play of these people and how these people have created a whole lot of problems so I see a lot of you um who are dealing with uh um uh, your mother or that sort of a thing i see a really a balance is going to be taking place and they're going to be balancing out and healing some sort of a situation between you and your mother and it's as if some of your your mother could have left you a whole lot or your mother your grandmother could have left you a whole lot of money and someone tried to get um away with it sadness for aries whoever this aries is in some of you lives uh, sadness for this Aries and their family. A tower moment came down on the Aries and their family, along with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person and their family. And I see a lot of you, you could be divorced in this Aries or you're ending whatever communication you had with this Aries because you recognize the deceptive play of this Aries and how this Aries um, person, whether it's a businessman, your boss or your father, what they have done. And you're going to be really ending 
a situation with them. It's like you're getting rid of these people because you recognize that these people are not vibrating on a positive energy and they could be taking you down and have took you down the wrong rabbit hole. The center is about removing the anguish. This year is about a lot of you going to be removing the anguish, the inner conflicts that you had. Then a lot of you are going to be recognizing uh, divorcing and ending a cycle with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. I see you have no regrets that this uh, is now ended and this is something that you have want this person have created a whole lot of worries anguish and problems in your life and now you're resolving this uh, and ending it in this year a whole lot of you because the center of this year is about the wheel of fortune and you had some sort of a karmatic situation with a young taurus virgo or a capricorn person and you are ending it a lot of you um kids could be born or you could get pregnant in this year so be aware relationship marriage is going to be ending and i see a lot of you gemini is going to be happy you're going to be happy you're going to be I i'm taking my kid and just move on i am happy that this uh, finally ended because it's as if some of you were in some sort of a marriage or relationship with a cancer and you think oh my god so many information this person could have created so much problems for you gemini's and you are like Finally, I'm releasing myself out of this problem. The energy of the world is here. And with the energy of the world, um, it is world beside the wheel of fortune. So you guys have some sort of a blockage that was created by a cancer. It's going to be coming down. The wheel of fortune, a lot of you, your fortune is going to be returning and you're going to be happy. Um, a cycle is going to be coming to an end because I see... Um, you Gemini's are going to be recognizing who your true friends are and who real friends are. Light is going to be shed on a scorpion woman and they're going to be recognizing who the scorpion woman is and how the scorpion woman together with the Aries, the Aries, Sagittarius person has created some sort of an in a marrow moral thing. And they're going to be recognizing. So um, a whole lot of you expect uh, that you're going to be finding out that a TEF was created um, against your mother or against a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And you are so regretful of this. Some of you is your mother, some of you is a home, some of you is a grandmother, but it's a Capricorn person. And you're so regretful of this. And you young men are going to be recognizing that you have always had an enemy. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing and I see that they recognize that your enemy have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue. And I see sadness for this businessman because they have now caught this businessman red handed. So this year is going to be very good. Some of you is a businessman, some of you is your husband, some of you is your partner, but um, you're going to be dealing with they're going to be finding out that a family have stolen a lot of money. And some of you could have been married in this family. And um, I see a lot of you are going to be happy that you're getting out of this. Okay. Um, they are looking at a scorpion woman, whether the scorpion woman is and her family. I, if this could have been your mom, there is some problems. And there is problems behind um, this scorpion woman and the family. Then I see an end is here for a Aries, the or Sagittarian, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. An end is here for this person. I see a whole lot of sadness. And I see, you know, a lot of you are not offering um, this person any love. This person wanted some sort of a new start. It's not going to be happening because they recognize the unfair game of this person and people are making and bringing an end to this. So a lot of you, you're going to be dealing and remember week by week until you get back, you get around the whole cycle. So a lot of you, everything that is in this reading is going to be affecting your world. It depends on if you started on the 24th or the 25th, it's going to be going back in a cycle for every month. So um, in the month of June, what to expect um, is the energy of the um, line that you're in, the column that you're in, okay? Then when we look at the at the basis, 
kids a whole lot of kids are going to be reunited with some of you some of you had lost the kid this kid is going to be coming back and reunited some sort of a data and information is going to be coming in and this kid is going to be recognizing that you have never turned their backs on them um it's as if their phone is going to be open and blub 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 it's as if someone had put some sort of a block between you and a kid and this kid is going to go recognize oh my god um my father or my mother has been um texting me so uh, you know um this is going to be a year of a whole lot of family issue and this is all affecting you so as you look at rose and rose and rose you begin um let's say that you begin on the 28 um so in the energy of the 28 you have um the world so you're going to be dealing with some sort of emotional the cycle is over with a relationship and um then the next month you're going to be finding out a whole lot of truths a whole lot of information is going to be coming at you and the next one is going to be fast with a lot of data information so if you're doing any exam um do it in the month where light is been shed because light is like archangel jovial awaken you um and giving you information for studies i do love you guys please like and share this video namaste to the next time